Oh, so this is crazy, too. More than a million people, I don't know if you saw this, have signed up on Facebook with the intention of storming Area 51. This is the military facility. Before planned storming of Area 51 would inspire hundreds, if not thousands of memes on the internet. Tonight, 1.3 million people have signed up to storm Area 51 in Nevada. Before brands like Kool-Aid, Xbox, Oreo, and Burger King would jump in on the action. Hey, Kool-Aid! Oh yeah! Before a GoFundMe would be made to raise money for Lil Nas X to perform at Area 51 while well, the raid happens, to which he eventually agreed to do for free. Before Kyle's would be the front line of the storm with Naruto Runs. This person is known in the Bible as the Antichrist. Now what would start off as a joke would soon lead to millions of people attending a Facebook event titled, Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop Us All. At the time of this recording, the event has got 1.7 million people allegedly going and 1.3 million interested, myself included. Now it's safe to say of the 1.7 million people who clicked attending, I doubt even 1% will actually go. But then again, crazier shit has happened, so who knows what will actually happen on the morning of September 20th at 3 a.m. when this alleged storming is supposed to go down. Although we can't predict the future, what we can do is relive the past and by that, I mean go through some of the best memes people all over the world have made in regards to this whole situation. I'll show you guys my favorite one a little bit later on in this video, but for now, let's show you this one of a scared Ron Weasley portraying an Area 51 guard being scared of all the Kyles coming for him. It's just amazing. We also got when the Kyle division shows up to Area 51 with Ali G saying, respect to all of you for wearing camouflage, it will help you go undetected with a bunch of dudes in bright colorful camouflage clothing. And of course, when I end up being the only one showing up to Area 51 and the guards start beating my ass, showing what looks like to be a group of people, mid fight maybe we'll say. Now in this video we are going to also cover the origin of this meme in great detail and talk about the impact it's had on brands, celebrities, and everyday people like you and I. I will say, it's going to be a little hard for me to get through this video without laughing, but I'll do the best I can. What's going on guys? Hope you're having a wonderful day today. My name is Jared Bronstein. And in today's video, we'll be covering the Area 51 memes that have most likely flooded your Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube feeds, to name a few. Can't forget about Twitter. Twitter should also be in that list. We've actually done it before they're famous on the actual Area 51 location, as well as our extraterrestrial friend Lil Mayo, so be sure to check those out after this one. It's also fair to mention we've done similar videos covering memes in the past, such as the No Nut November Mike did last November. It was hilarious. You guys seem to enjoy it. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check it out as well. But we figured why not cover another meme. Now as always, we want you guys to drop us some comments down below with what you'd like to see next. And of course, I'll see you guys after the intro. Before they were famous. Before they were famous. Before. They were famous about <gasps> that was a pretty good video. I like this guy does. Look, Cardi, cool. you did a great Michael job. Michael is never wrong. So damn, that was cool. How did he know that? Bro! So let's take you back to the very beginning. On June 27th, 2019, Facebook users posting because I'm in shambles and Smileycon, which I might have said wrong, created the Facebook event Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us, scheduled to happen on September 20th, 2019 at 3 a.m. In the event, which has since garnered the attention of media all over the world, the US government and millions of Facebook users, the description reads, I quote, we will all meet up at the Area 51 Alien Center tourist attraction and coordinate our entry. If we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. Let's see them aliens. Now of course, this was meant to be a total joke and wasn't expected to gain the attention that it has. But because it's gone viral and seems to continue growing by the day, we thought it'd be fun to talk about some of the best memes we've seen on here and how we got to where we are today. A little over a week after the event was made and started to gain traction, Facebook user Jackson Barnes would mock up a satirical game plan to storm the base. In it, he not only describes how the Kyles will make up the front line of the attack, but there will also be the rock throwers who will distract the US military from killing all the Kyles, as well as two Naruto runner battalions who will of course run full speed from both the north and south sides. He caps off the description of the attack with a PS to the government that it's a total joke, he has no plans to actually storm the base, and it's not his responsibility if anyone does. Little disclaimer, which is smart because he doesn't be held reliable for, you know, the idiots that are actually going to go. I might actually go. This is what would really make the event go viral, having memes of the idea blow up on Reddit. More specifically, the subreddit Dank Memes, which is home to some of the very best memes on the internet. Now, on July 9th and 10th, the story of this potential raid would get picked up by news outlets all over the world, including the Daily Mail, Live Science, and Newsweek, whom at first didn't realize this was all one big hoax. Although to some, it may not be. 
Eventually, the likes of Fox News and, of course, local Las Vegas and Nevada news stations would also report on the potential raid. All of this would also garner the attention, of course, of the US government, more specifically, the US Air Force, who have made it clear they will do whatever is necessary to protect their assets. One of the many reasons Air Force officials don't want people to trespass on the base, they are worried some might be killed. Quote, any attempt to illegally access military installations or military training areas is dangerous. On July 12th, 2019, the Air Force officially released a statement through the Washington Post. Spokeswoman Laura McAndrews issued a warning to those wanting to actually participate in the raid on the facility. She said, I quote, Area 51 is an open training range for the US Air Force, and we would discourage anyone from trying to come into the area where we train American armed forces. The US Air Force always stands ready to protect America and its assets. So let me just say, if you're actually planning on storming Area 51, Please don't. I know it sounds crazy, but the nearest hotel, Little Alien, spelt little, the letter A, Lee, like L E E E, and then in, as in the Holiday Inn, has sold out their 10 rooms. They're located about 26 miles from the site and offer around 30 acres of land for people to camp out on as well. At the time of this recording, over 60 people have already reserved spots on the land to camp out on the night of the raid. So, it might actually happen. Now on July 12th, the likes of Kool-Aid and Burger King would jump in on the action, and only a few days later, Oreo, Xbox, and even Lil Nas X would get on board with the raid, or at least poking some fun at it. More specifically, the previous brands that I mentioned would post stuff on Twitter, but Lil Nas X would actually have a GoFundMe started to have the Old Town Road Star perform at the base while everyone raids it. Twitter user Jay Capano tweeted out the GoFundMe page to Lil Nas X, which was originally started by Miel Tao, which I feel like I just mispronounced. Mile Tao? M-E-I-L, how would you guys pronounce that? Lil Nas X responded to the tweet saying he's willing to do it for free. At the time of this recording, the campaign has raised just under $400 of its $100,000 goal, but the event is expected to be a three-day production with a kickoff barbecue on the 19th, followed by two performances over two days. Now, Lil Nas X actually even made an animated music video for his latest Old Town Road remix, featuring Billy Ray Cyrus, Young Thug, and Mason Ramsey, you know, the Walmart yodeling kid. Be sure to check that out as well. At the time of this recording, it's been viewed almost 6 million times in just 3 days. It also has cameos from Thanos and the breathtaking Keanu Reeves. So I mean, it's literally the internet at its peak. It's really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking! <laughs> You're breathtaking! You're all breathtaking! Now of course this is one of those things that we kind of just gotta wait and see what happens. I know for sure it'll most likely be part of US history, as crazy as that sounds, especially if people actually do show up to the raid. But it's about two months away, so for now we can just sit back, relax, maybe plan a little bit, and enjoy some of the memes we're about to show you guys. As you can see here, Stone Cold Steve Austin is all for the raid, as long as there is beer. We also got the cosign from Obama and Joe Biden, as well as the legendary and one and only Bill Nye the Science Guy. Who's actually pulling some girls right now. I don't know who I could credit for these, but if you could somehow prove you're the original creator, I would love to make a video dedicated to you because you're an absolute genius. Now, of course, we would love to hear from you guys, so be sure to drop us a comment down below if you guys want to see more videos on us covering memes before they blow up and their origin, as well as your favorite Area 51 meme. Here are some more of the great memes we were able to find on the internet. You know who would have loved to storm Area 51? Harambe. Oh man. Forgot about him. God rest his soul. What a wonderful creature. We also got a throwback to the classic Leroy Jenkins days with the leader saying, All right, the plan is, and of course, Leroy cutting him off, yelling, Leroy Jenkins. I don't really do it any justice. You guys get the joke. Go look it up if you haven't seen that original meme. It's incredible. If you haven't seen Stranger Things, you may not get this one, but it's also extremely well done, showing Hop and his pal Murray storming Area 51. Now, as I previously mentioned, I'll show you guys my favorite, which is this one. When you finally get into Area 51 and realize there are no aliens, and it's a Chevrolet JD Power and Associates commercial. God damn. That one really got me. So much so, I'm actually going to be making a video on my personal Instagram about it, so be sure to check that out. I make meme videos, they're funny, I mean I haven't done it in like a month and a half, but that's going to be the next one. Now in case you guys don't know, Mike's actually currently traveling in California, and will be heading to Las Vegas as well. I know he's mentioned it in some of his previous videos, as well as his Instagram stories. But you guys got to hit me up in the DMs to make it worth it. I mean, I'm not going to drive all the way there for five of you. You know what I mean, like, hit me up with some DMs. If there's a whole bunch, I'll go vlog it. So, I will say, if this video gets 100,000 likes, I'll make sure he stays true to his word and visits the site. Be sure to share this video, tell your friends to give it a good old thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to us so you guys never miss another video. 
Now, I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. You guys can catch me on social media at Bron7, where I love hearing from you guys, so feel free to shoot me some DMs. I know a handful of you guys have, which is dope. Every idea that you guys give me, I run it by Mike, and we agree whether or not it's a good idea. If you haven't seen it just yet, just wait. You know, we got a little list of ones to do, but maybe yours will be in there soon. You guys could also just drop us a comment down below. I tend to read them all, which has absolutely been detrimental to my mental health, but it seems I never learned my lesson. Have yourselves a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this, and hopefully I'll see you guys on September 20th at 3 a.m. when me and my friend Kyle plan to storm the U.S. government's base. For the record, that's a joke. To the government. Don't come to my house. I'm just joking. I know it's on record, but I'm just kidding. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video, and hopefully I'll see you at Area 51.